YouTube, this is your friendly teenage Rickster here with another awesome Lego set video, or review, kind of. So today, I have the four Wizard and Wizard of Oz minifigures from the Lego Movie 2 minifigure series. I got super lucky, and I found a box of these guys at um, Fleet Farm, actually, in my town here. And yeah, I found the box at Fleet Farm, and even better, it was discounted, so these guys were 270 each. Um, <laughs> which is kind of crazy. I didn't get the entire set because, honestly, the only ones I'm interested in the set are like these guys, Rex, um, Benny, and the giraffe. So, I'll just be showing you these guys today. Besides, these are the highlight of the series for sure. These minifigures are incredible. And they've got some really cool stuff, too. Because, you know, they're incredible. So, let's just adjust the lighting here a little bit. There we go. Now it's perfect. And, yeah, these minifigures here, they're really cool minifigures for sure. Cowardly Lion. Tin Man, Cowardly Lion, Tin Man, Scarecrow, and Dorothy, and Toto, because you can't forget Toto. And these minifigures would go great if you, if, I wish I had them, but there was the, you know, there was the Wicked Witch and the Monkeys and the Ultimate Batmobile and the Wicked Witch from Dimensions. I remember when that Wicked Witch in Dimensions came out, and I was like, oh, hopefully they'll make all these good people now. And they didn't, and I was sad. And then they made the Wicked Witch again, and the Flying Monkeys in the Lego Batman movie, and I was like, oh, does this mean they're going to make minifigures of these guys soon? And it did, because now we've got all of these people too. Now we just need a minifigure of Oz himself. But these minifigures are definitely good. And these are these are great minifigures. Um, yeah, I was super excited when I saw these. This was like, oh wow, they should just make a Wizard, a Wizard of Oz series. But no, there isn't that many Wizard of Oz people. But yeah, these are really cool minifigures for sure. So let's start off with the Cowardly Lion. So the Cowardly Lion here, I'm doing this a little bit differently than normal. I'm just sticking them on this base plate, because these guys are really want to talk about here. Cowardly Lion is probably the most basic of all of these guys, but at the same time, he's not. I mean, even this guy alone has a new mold and several recolors and a lot of nice printing on him. And obviously, the first thing you might notice is since, you know, he was a scaredy cat and everything, he got a medal from Oz. You've got this medal right here on this very nice printed tile. You can see that there. Very beautiful piece. Um, looks great, I think. Such a, such a good piece. Um, be great for all sorts of things. Whatever, you, um, like military scenes whatever it's a great great piece there so let's actually just get that out of here for now so that we can see the rest of the lion all perfectly and as you can see the cowardly lion he's got some very nice lion printing on him there he's got toes which is very unusual for a minifigure a few fur spots you know to show he's furry and i think that's good good enough i mean it's what the lion needs he's got this beautiful molded piece here for his mane which looks just looks incredible an absolutely perfect piece the nougat color is inc amazing Looks so good. It's dual. Or I don't think it's dual mold. Those are just painted on. And on the back here, he's got more fur and a tail. He's got his lion tail, which is so cool. Just this tail piece, which was introduced a while ago. Sorry, my fingers flicking up here. I'm just turning this around. But that's a good piece. You know, he looks so perfect on there. And he's got his brown hands and his white um, base plate, which is exclusive to the Lego Movie 2 Mayfair series. That nice white base plate there. Looks very good. And his face, unfortunately, is just the tiniest bit obscured by the head or by the hair piece. I think they should have printed this face here like another millimeter up so the smile would be completely seeable. But we can just pop that off here and we are left with this. Which still looks very good. He's got a nougat head. So it's a slightly different color than the rest of his body. <coughs> but it looks very good. Whiskers, smiling mouth. No alternate, er, sorry. Yeah, there's an alternate face. Oops, my bad. And now he's all cowardly. He's sad and scared. So that's a very nice alternate face there. Oops. No. Now he's all sad and scared because he doesn't have his metal anymore. But yeah, very nice alternate face. Great minifigure, for sure. Very cool minifigure. Such an iconic character. The Cowardly Lion. And yeah, it's such a fun minifigure to have. I'm glad that they did this for a long movie too. Completely random, but certainly welcomed by the Lego um, fan community with open arms. For sure. And next up we have the highly anticipated Tin Man, which... Is a very cool minifigure, but I think Lego missed a cue here. I think they should have used this minifigure as a chance to bring, bring back Chrome. I think that would have been really fun if they had Chromed this guy. I mean, they almost did too. He's got a very silvery sheen to him. They got this close to Chroming him, but then they just, I guess they stopped. But yeah, he's a very nice minifigure. An extremely nice minifigure. You can see the metallic detailing. Looks very good. He's even got a nose there. Just like the Cowardly Lion. So, yeah, surprisingly, three out of the four minifigures in this set have noses, which is kind of insane. But, yeah, he's got his little nose there. Bow tie, which looks very good, like a metallic bow tie. He's got the funnel 
hat, which looks very nice. There's actually a hole at the top where you can stick a bow piece or something like in Friends, you know? And he's got the silver axe here, an accessory, because you know he carries an axe. And then he's got his little heart, and the little ticking heart there, which is a very cute little piece on the new heart tile, and new for 2019. A great little printed piece. You can see it shows 3, 6, 9, and 12. Absolutely perfect. And he's got his whole body, is nice pearl silver. Um, even his hands, I think. Yeah, or, wait. No, or sorry. No, his hands are red. Why am I? Yeah, his hands are dark gray. Never mind. His hands are dark gray. Too bad. Oh, well. He's got very nice printing around him, though, with the arm printing there. Leg printing. Looks very good. Shows off his roboticness. He's even got knees, which is kind of unusual for a Lego guy to have. It looks like knees. He's got his buttoned-up suit there. And coming around the back, just a few little stains and some more silvery sheen. Looks very nice on the whole. It's a great minifigure of a very cool character. I think this was probably the most anticipated him and Dorothy out of all of the minifigures in this bunch. And something else that the Tin Man got, something that they started doing with this minifigure series and helping continue, is extra pieces. So you get some extra pieces with this guy. Um, other ones that have extra pieces, I think, are Unikitty, uh, maybe Abraham Lincoln, and maybe the people with, I think the people with microphones might have had extra microphones. And, yeah, but, and the giraffe has an extra plant piece. But this guy, his extra pieces... All right here, so you get two extra bow ties, two of these nice silver bow ties. Um, I have no idea what you'd use these for, but let's see, we'll focus in on that. Come on, focus. There we go. So you get two of these extra, two extras of these nice bow tie piece, and an extra of the clock hearts. This was probably the my favorite extra piece I've ever gotten in a set, and I'm not making this up. You actually get an extra clock heart in here, at least mine did. So pretty, pretty awesome to get that extra piece. And yeah, just a great way to end such a great minifigure. You know, you get these nice extra pieces here too to complement him very, well, nicely. And next up we have the Scarecrow who, you know, he's looking for a brain. So he has his certificate of achievement for being smart there, which looks very nice, very good accessory. I keep on saying very nice. It's a very cool accessory. Um, it'd be great for like a graduation scene, you know, it's like a diploma if you don't have the graduating student minifigure. So very, very cool piece to for sure. Let's actually take this off for now and look at the minifigure itself, who is a, another awesome minifigure from the Lego Movie 2 line, and of which in my opinion, there are four extreme standouts in that line. <laughs> and you can see here, he looks very much like he does in the movie with the dilapidated shirt, the, like the ropes hanging off, the little scarf thing. And he's got a completely new mold for his hat. In this little bit of little line of figures here, I count one, two, three, four, five, five new molds just for these four figures, which is pretty awesome. And around his back here, you have more green, or more like rope printing stuffing coming out on his shirt, which is very great. I like the stuffing coming out; it's a great detailing. Obviously, his hat is that big black molded piece there. With the band going around, the band appears like different colors in the movie sometimes, which I just, I went back and looked at some clips from it and just a minute ago, and I was like, what? Okay, that's really weird. But I think dark orange was a good compromise. It, it's like tan and it's green at times. It's weird, but yeah, I think orange was the perfect color. It works very well, and it looks nice with the minifigure on the whole. And his head has a very nice print there, which looks very happy and smiling. He's got his little nose. Pop the head off. And on its, it's on a tan head, so that's cool. Got some little wrinkles around it, but it looks very, it looks very, it looks like the Scarecrow. No alternate face, only the Cowardly Lion, and I think Dor and Dorothy have alternate faces. Uh, let's see, Dorothy has one here, she's sitting right over here. Yep, she, she has an alternate, so two of the four have alternates, but that's pretty much decided by the headgear, because, you know, the Tin Man and the Scarecrow don't really have things that can cover their alternate faces. Um, so... Yeah, that's that's a very nice minifigure here. He's probably, out of the four, he, I don't know, he's probably my least favorite, because in the movie I always like the Tin Man, the Lion, and Dorothy better, but... Er, Tin Man and Lion were my favorite. Dorothy's just extremely detailed, though, and we'll get her next. This guy's probably my least favorite of the four, but he's still a very fun character. And he's got the awesome Certificate of Achievement, which he gets for being an awesome minifigure. And now last, and most certainly not least, we have Dorothy herself, who ran down the road on her red ruby slippers to go find the Wizard of Oz. Dorothy's a, a pretty cool minifigure, I think. One of the more detailed figures I've seen in a very long time, except for Umbridge from the Bricktober pack. 
but obviously her accessory here is Toto, who effectively uses the Schnauzer mode from the, I think it's supposed to be Schnauzer, well, whatever. I don't know the breed he is, but it looks like Toto, so that's the what they're going for. Got a little printed shaggy fur on there, which looks nice. And his eyes look good, too. Little cute little mouth. Very cute little dog there. And Dorothy herself here is an extremely great figure. She's got her exclusive um, rubber hair piece, which I don't see Lego ever reusing. So if you want that hair piece, probably get the set. It's got printed bows on it, which looks good. Her blue gingham dress looks very nice. Uh, the little skirt there with the extremely fancy little fine printing on there, which goes all the way around. All the way around Dorothy, um, and on her torso too, obviously, you got the dress. Extremely nice piece there. She's got the short sleeve, um, dual molded arms, which I love arms like that. So great. Especially with the flesh color, so you can make a flesh color, uh, flesh white classic space t-shirt now. Which would be absolutely awesome. And with other minifigures in this set, you can make a flesh, or a yellow, green classic space, um, torso. Uh, with arms and a with like t-shirt and style and stuff and if you get different main figures and different I don't know whatever I'm getting off track here with classic space t-shirts but you'll also see around her feet she's got her ruby slippers the infamous ruby slippers goes around either side of her foot there and her legs are actually dual molded which surprised me because you know the rest are on her dress but the bottom is blue like that and the top part is white um if you can see that right here well no, I can't look really, I can't look under it no, that's, okay just take my word for it, the legs are dual molded, it's white and white, and there's actually some printing under there too, like her dress ends and her shoes start, but, I mean, that's pretty much it. And there's a little bit of fleshiness, but nothing much under there. So we'll just leave her skirt on for now, I think. And, yeah, then her head up there, very cute little Dorothy smile with some pink lipstick on there. And she does have an alternate expression here, which is just absolutely perfect for when she's being attacked by flying monkeys. Now she looks all worried and scared and stuff. So, yeah, another extremely great minifigure here in this set. So, I really like this set, the, this group of four minifigures a lot, and Dorothy is a highlight, I think. She's such a standout with her amazing skirt and printing and everything, and her very cute little dress and her ruby slippers, which I think tons of people are going to be excited about, and of course the white base plate too, like the other ones. So, in this set, obviously, you have Dorothy here with Toto, um, which pretty much is another character. The Cowardly Lion, I have to move her over too. You've got the Tin Man here, and the Scarecrow. So out of these four, probably, if I had to rank them, I'd probably go Dorothy is number one. It's just an amazingly detailed figure. Tin Man, number two. Lion, number three. Oh, he looks a little sad. He's number three. And Scarecrow, number four. Um, these are all amazing minifigures. They're probably the best in the series. But, I mean, just going by detail and kind of by personal preferences, I'd stay. That's the order I would choose them. And Toto is Toto. So, I mean, he's he's number one with Dorothy. So, he's, he's all happy and fuzzy and puppy-ish. So that's the set of main figures here, and if you're wondering what it looks like, here is the sheet for the Lego Movie 2. Um, this is perfectly fine for me to show, you know, this has been revealed and stuff, so I'm not leaking anything. And you got Unikitty down here, obviously, all these other people. The other ones that I have in the set, is I have Rex and Benny, and the... I have Rex and Benny, and then, like, some other people in my family got some other ones, like, somebody got the giraffe, and somebody got the hula person, and crayon girl and such. Um, the other one, the giraffe's a fun one. The other ones aren't that great. I got Benny literally just for that toolbox. Because, I mean, who doesn't like a toolbox with classic space printing on it? And then Rex is fun. I'm not, I don't know if I'll do reviews. If you want, let me know in the comments below if you want to see some of these other minifigures. Um, ones I can show you. Uh, and I will show them if you want to see them. I'll do a video of those guys too if you want. I'm not doing this entire series. The only series that I've ever gotten the entire one of was the Harry Potter one that came out in June. And, because that series was amazing. This series, meh. I could care less about and see one, two, three, four. <laughs> you get the idea, like the singer ones, pretty much. But the, these guys, these minifigures are amazing. And back to the sheet, you got instructions. Oh, it's Unikitty. These minifigures, these are amazing. This is like its own little mini series, pretty much here. But you could call it Lego Movie Two and a Half series. Series, I don't know, 19. And you get, these are the extra pieces you get with them all together. Wouldn't have been funny if they gave you an extra of that, but. Yeah, so thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed these minifigures. This is kind of a rush video. Usually I take videos and I take so many that a lot of the videos don't get posted for a very long time. This one I'm taking today and I'm posting it today. So that's that. I found these guys at Fleet Farm and yeah, it's pretty great. And for $2.70 each, they were clearancing out their toy section from Christmas. I guess these guys got mixed up in there. So these guys were on clearance, <laughs> which was kind of hilarious. And I got some other sets cheap too. I picked up Grindelwald's carriage for like $13 and... Yeah, that was pretty great.
So it was a good day all around. So this is the Teenage Brickster. Hoping you like this video. So if you did, like it. Comment with your thoughts on these minifigures. And if you want to see, like, a look at Rex or Benny here, the giraffe guy or anything like that. And this is the Teenage Brickster. Reminding you to subscribe, ding that bell, and signing off. Teenage Brickster, over and out.